Jai Gurudev, Namaste, Namitaji. Thank you for taking the time to share your experiences with us. Can you tell us about your first encounter with His Holiness Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Ji and how it impacted your life? Namaste, my first encounter with Gurudev was transformative. It was during a time when everything seemed perfect in my life, family life. We had everything we needed and we enjoyed life with lots of parties and social gatherings. But despite all this, I felt something was missing. It was then that I attended my first Sudarshan Kriya session. That sounds intriguing. What was your experience during the first Sudarshan Kriya session? Initially, it was quite long and for someone new like me, it was intense. There was a moment during the session where I heard bells ringing and that sound resonated deeply with me. I continued practicing it. And soon after, Gurudev visited Rishikesh. A bus and some cars were organized for those who wanted to attend and I decided to go. Can you share a memorable experience from that trip to Rishikesh? Oh, absolutely. During the trip, there was a moment of chaos when everyone left the bus to catch a glimpse of Gurudev. I stayed behind thinking we would see him during the satsang anyway. Eventually, I was led to Gurudev and the encounter was beyond words. I experienced a spectrum of colors before my eyes which left me awestruck. I felt a profound sense of peace and connection. It must have been an extraordinary experience. How did this encounter influence your spiritual journey? This experience deepened my practice and commitment. I continued with advanced courses and felt immense support from my family, especially my husband, who, although not deeply involved, respected my path. The teachings and practices brought a new flavor and color to my life, something I had never experienced before. That's wonderful. How do you manage to balance your spiritual practices with your family life? Gurudev always emphasizes that we should not abandon our responsibilities. Our roles in the family are important and we can integrate spiritual practices into our daily lives without neglecting our duties. It is all about balance and finding joy in both worlds. Can you describe the atmosphere at Art of Living gatherings and how they contribute to your spiritual growth? The gatherings are filled with positive energy and joy. Regardless of the external circumstances, everyone has a smile on their face. It is a space where we can connect deeply with ourselves and others. The teachings of Gurudev create an environment where love and compassion flourish. How has being a faculty member with the Art of Living Foundation enriched your journey? Being a faculty member has been incredibly fulfilling. It allows me to share the wisdom and practices that have transformed my life with others. Watching people find peace and happiness through these teachings is immensely rewarding. Lastly, what advice would you give to someone new to the Art of Living and spiritual practices? I would say come with an open heart and mind. Be patient with yourself and the process spiritual growth is a journey not a destination embrace the practices attend the courses and most importantly connect with the community the support and guidance you receive will be invaluable thank you so much namita ji for sharing your beautiful journey and insights with us it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you it was my pleasure to share namaste jai gurudev